Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 40 of my Create Mod series. Now today I'm going to show you on how to make an automatic slime farm without using actual slime mobs. It's going to be pretty cool uh, with Create Mod recipes. If you enjoy this video, feel free to like and subscribe as I make a ton of Create Mod content, and you are not going to want to miss this. But anyways, let's jump into the video. So uh, before I scare anyone, there's a lot of items. It looks at least like a lot of items. A lot of these, it's just single items, though, so that's why it looks like a ton. I promise you that once we set this up, it doesn't use that much stuff, uh, and you'll kind of notice that. I do want to go over a couple different things, though. Uh, all of these water buckets, they just need to be water sources. Most of these are going to be powering, like, water wheels are going to be used for farms and things along those lines, uh, so you don't need that many buckets. Uh, if you just make an infinite water source, you can roll with that, and that works. Uh, the lava buckets, only one of them you're actually going to use to generate cobblestone. The rest are going to be used to discard items. So if you actually just want to use a chest instead and save all these items, then you don't need this much lava. So maybe watch the video prior to actually building the system. Um, everything else, or actually everything in this video is going to be linked in the description. So if you want to see in how many of each item you need, it's all down there. Uh, I do also want to go over that I have a wrench. You're going to need a wrench for this video. Uh, and then I have a hoe to just hoe land. Um, I do have a piece of light gray dye and a piece of lime sand that's going to be used for filters. So uh, you might need that as well to just kind of filter through some items. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, but everything else we can just go ahead and grab and we can get started. So to go over this craziness on how we're going to accomplish this, uh, I want to look at the recipes of slime balls. Now, uh, slime balls, like normally, would just be killed by a slime, drops a slime ball. Uh, and of course, you can use a slime block to turn into slime balls as well. Now, create adds a unique recipe where if you take lime dye and you take dough, that it turns into a slime ball. Now, we've made a bread video in the past that if you want to check out, you can. Uh, but that's how we're going to get our dough. So it's simply washing wheat flour and then wheat flour can be crushed or milled uh, from wheat so uh pretty easy to actually go ahead and make dough um the lime dye is where it's going to get a little tricky because if we look at the recipe of course green dye is just cactuses that are being smelted uh which we're going to be a little unique on it we're going to go ahead and mill it so we have a chance to make more green dye than just one um but if we look at our white dye this is where it gets a little bit more complicated because white dye can get uh pretty complicated depending on how you want to make it what we're gonna do is make a cobblestone generator and turn it all the way into white dye now that being said we've made a video on how to do the whole bone meal setup infinite bone meal so if you want to go ahead and check that video out you totally can uh, but we're just going to modify that machine in this video uh, to get that up and running. But we're going to do a block by build of everything. So don't panic. You don't have to watch another video or anything like that. Um, so yeah, let's grab our items and we can get to building. So to start out, we're going to go ahead and work with the bone meal side of this entire uh, machine. Don't panic if you see all these pre-built things. I'll go over them as we get into those certain areas. All you need to do is just find a flat area and start building. So we're going to work on our cobblestone generator first, which is going to be a little bit unique. Um, we're going to be using our cobblestone stairs and our drills. So all you need to do is find an area and place down um, stairs just like so with the two L shapes and a center shape. Then we're going to place, uh, or let's actually not place our water yet. We're going to go ahead and place drills on the opposite side uh, with like a one block gap. So you can see if we place them like this, we just got to rotate them. Um, so they are facing... There we go, facing just like this. So the drills are aimed at the cobblestone stairs with a one block gap. Uh, and then our next step is we're going to place water and lava in here. But I'm going to pause really quick to make this a little bit easier for us. And we're going to grab our shafts. And we're going to place a shaft in between the drill and this cobblestone stair, but one block down. We're going to grab a mechanical belt and we're going to right click on this shaft. And then we're going to go... Uh, against this shaft, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blocks away. Place down another shaft, rotate it so it's facing the same direction, and connect this mechanical belt. Because this is going to pull our die all the way through the entire machine and to where it needs to go. So uh, once we do this, we can go ahead and hop back up on top of our machine. We could place a water bucket, another water bucket... Uh, and a third water bucket, and we can place a lava bucket in the center up top, and this is just diagonal up one, so it starts creating some stone. Uh, now, one other thing that we could quickly do is just place one shaft underneath of this mechanical drill, and then place some cogwheels by going one, two, three, four. 
Now, this glass structure here, all this is doing is keeping the cobblestone in here as it mines with the drills, so don't panic about that too much. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our crushing wheels because we're going to have our cobblestone go through, go through a ton of different crushing wheels and filter out some items. And then from there, I can go ahead and uh, pull our white dye from there. So the very first set of crushing wheels we're going to set up is just going to be two blocks away from this structure that we've built. So we'll just place a shaft inside of this mechanical belt. We're going to grab uh, some vertical gearboxes and we're going to place two just like this. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our crushing wheels and place down two. And then once the cobblestone goes through here, it'll turn to gravel. So then we're going to crush it again so we can get an output of sand. Uh, so we're going to do the same exact thing of a shaft inside, then a vertical gearbox on either side, and then two more crushing wheels. Now, if we look at this recipe of bone meal and we go through, we could see that uh, once we crush gravel and we get an output of sand, we have a chance of dropping flint and clay balls as well. And we don't want that going through our system. So we're simply going to filter it out through this mechanical belt. So all you have to do is just simply dig down a bit. I've dug a two block hole below the mechanical belt. I'm going to place a lava bucket inside of here. And then I'm going to go ahead and place a smart chute right above that. And then I'm going to grab a filter and I'm going to filter it with the filter as sand and with the deny list set. Now you can use just enough items to simply click and drag whatever you would like into the filter, or you can just find a piece of sand and place it in here. Just make sure it's set to the deny list. This will make it so it's denying sand from going through the smart shoot and letting everything else go through. And that's, that's what we're looking for. So once we do that, we know that only sand can go onto this mechanical belt. So we're going to grab a shaft here, place that again, do our vertical gearboxes on either side and another crushing wheel or two more crushing wheels, excuse me. So now it crushes our sand uh, and this is where we run into another little bit of an issue of uh, when our sand goes through, it will create our bone meal or at least have a 10% chance to create it, but it also has a chance of making lime sand and we don't want lime sand. So we're going to do the exact same thing of digging down and simply uh, placing a lava bucket two, box, two blocks below, then a smart chute. And for here, we're just going to go ahead and take a piece of lime sand and set it as a filter. So it throws all the lime sand into the lava. Now we're basically done with this section. Uh, all we have to do is once we are now getting bone meal, we want to turn it to white dye. So all we have to do for this guy is simply go ahead and take another shaft, place it in this mechanical belt, Take a vertical gearbox against this, place a small cogwheel on top, take a uh, millstone, place a millstone down, and then just take uh, andesite funnels and place them on either side. So, or <laughs> not on both sides, uh, just on either side of the belt. So this will now uh, mill the bone meal, which will turn to white dye, and then it'll come out. Now, we've also run into another small issue is when we mill white dye, uh, we have a chance of creating light gray dye as well. We don't want that either. So we're just going to do our trick again of placing a lava bucket two blocks or two blocks below, then grabbing a smart filter or smart shoot, excuse me, and then just grab a uh, piece of light gray dye and place that on there. So it'll pull our light gray dye out. So there we go. We've got this whole area set up. Uh, something we might as well do is simply go ahead and grab a basin place it here and take a mechanical mixer and place that on top. Uh, and we can place an andesite funnel um, right at the end here. So now our items will turn all the way into white dye and then we'll be placed into the basin. All right, so our next step that we're going to work on is going to be our green dye, which is just going to be with a cactus farm. Uh, there's going to be some switches in it compared to our normal farms because they are cactuses and they're not like wheat or sugar cane. Uh, but you'll see what I mean as we're setting it up. So I'm just going to go to the other side of this basin and go down one block, place a shaft and go one, two, three, four, five, place down another shaft, grab a mechanical belt and just simply connect this. Now, uh, one thing we also want to do is take an andesite funnel. Uh, and place it on to this guy right here um, without setting the filter. We want to make sure the filter is not set to an andesite funnel, but just one's placed on it. And then down this mechanical belt, we're going to go ahead and place down a millstone uh, with an andesite funnel against this. Because what we're doing is we're going to pull our cactuses from our cactus farm. They're going to fall into our millstone, get milled into green dye, and then they'll go ahead and head towards the basin. 
Uh, something else we might as well do while we're here is place a vertical gearbox off of this belt and place a cogwheel. So once we get this thing powered up, it'll actually power this millstone as well for us. Now we can also take a chute, place this on top of our millstone, take a portable storage interface, place that on top as well, aiming towards the sand area that we have here. And then we're going to start working on our cactus farm. Now, uh, to basically give you a perspective of what I've done here, uh, every side is one, two, three, four, five blocks of sand all around in a circle. Uh, and we're just going to build a radial farm. So away from this portable storage interface, I'm going one, two, three, four, five, one block over and di uh, digging two blocks into the ground. Now here, we're going to take a magma block, then encased fan uh, and place that on top of here with the gearbox facing up. Then a mechanical bearing. I can rotate this correctly. There we go, with the sticky side facing up. Then a radial chassis. And then before we start this up, I want to go ahead and grab one of our levers, place it on this magma block, flick it so it starts to move. And then we can simply just grab this piece of sand or any type of block you would like to use just to fill that hole in. Uh, and then all we need to do is uh, not, not place the lever. Um, is simply right click on this bearing to go ahead and close it. All right, so what we're going to do now is take a slime ball or super glue, just right click on one side. Then we're going to go ahead and take our regular linear chassis, place down uh, three of them, if I can place them correctly, just like so. We're going to slime the front of this guy with a slime ball. And then we're going to take our harvesters, uh, or not our harvesters, excuse me, we're going to actually take drills um our our last three drills and place them here because if we use harvesters it actually won't harvest the um cactus so we're going to use drills to actually drill into it instead it'll still pick up the items and then we're going to right click on this linear chassis we're going to go ahead and grab chests place down two grab a portable storage interface and place it here now make sure your portable storage interfaces have a one block gap in between this allows them so that they can actually connect so if you've done this correctly, you could simply right click on this bearing, you'll see them connect at times and it will spin around in a circle. So the last step is to simply grab some cactuses and we can go ahead and place these guys down just like so. So now that we have a cactus farm up and running, we're going to go ahead and work on our next step. Because of course in this mixer, we're going to go ahead and make our lime dye, uh, but that's not the end product. We still want to make our slime balls. So what we're going to do is just go diagonal down uh, with some shafts. Place down two shafts just like this. Grab a mechanical belt uh, and connect it just like this. And if you've done this correctly, you'll see um, the basin output onto this mechanical belt. Then we're going to grab another basin, place that on top of here. Grab a mechanical mixer and place that on top. And in this mixer, this is where we're going to make our slime balls. So we will have our lime dye entering into here, which all we have to do is place an andesite funnel onto there. And theoretically, from this side, we're going to actually go ahead and pull our dough. But um, I want to go ahead and create an output first by simply placing an andesite funnel onto, or excuse me, not an andesite funnel, by simply going diagonal down and placing one shaft, going one, two, three blocks out, placing another shaft, and then placing a mechanical belt like this. And then down over here, we can grab um, our chests. And we could just simply go ahead and place a chest like this and an andesite funnel. So now that our items will get outputted from this basin and continue to move right into the machine. Uh, we can even place a second chest to make it a large chest. All right, so I've come over to where we're outputting our, our end goal. Um, but over here on the side, we're going to go ahead and build like a backwards bakery, essentially. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go diagonal down one block, place down two shafts, connect a mechanical belt to these shafts just like this. And then against this mechanical belt, we're going to dig down two blocks, place a lava bucket inside of there. Then we're going to go ahead and grab a smart chute, place that above there, and place a depot on top of the smart chute with a brass funnel off to the side onto this mechanical belt. Uh, and then we can also take an andesite funnel and place that against this uh, basin. So what this is doing is theoretically our items are going to come down onto this depot. We're going to wash this. This is where our wheat flour is entering. It's going to turn to dough. The brass uh, funnel is going to be set to a filter of dough once we get our first piece. And then we can set that to the filter so that it outputs and goes into the andesite funnel. Now the smart chute below, we've dug down to set it to a value of seeds. So if I go ahead and simply grab our seeds, we can go ahead and place that as the filter. And then we can just go ahead and place down our dirt just like so. 
Now, I said I was going to wash this, so I'm going to play in a little farther ahead with our power supply by simply placing a vertical gearbox here. And we're going to also place down an encased fan here and just simply rotate him so that he is aiming at the depot, just like this. And we're going to grab a water bucket and place it right here. So once this encased fan is activated, it'll actually wash the wheat flour and turn it to dough here. Now, prior to this, we're also going to go ahead and build um, a millstone so that we can use our millstone to actually grind our wheat and turn it into wheat flour. And of course, that gives you the chance of making seeds. So that's why we've set up that smart filter. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing of with a brass funnel, um, just placing it on the side. And we'll eventually set this to a wheat flour filter um, in a minute. Now over here, I've just gone diagonal down and over two blocks, and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing of lava uh, with a smart shoot set with the filter of seeds. Now uh, we've done this again um, because what we're going to do is when we pull our our wheat seeds and our excuse me our wheat off of our farm it has a chance again to make seeds and we don't want that going through our machine so we're going to go ahead and set up this smart shoot and on this smart shoot we're going to go ahead and put down one two shafts like this and a mechanical belt we're also going to do an andesite funnel onto this millstone a shoot on top of this mechanical belt and then a uh, portable storage interface on top of that now on this portable storage interface, uh, we're going to go ahead and start making our wheat farm. And again, this is going to be a little bit tricky um, depending on how you want to build your wheat farm. I've built it the exact same size as our uh, cactus farm by going one, two, three, four, five blocks on each side. And if we go from this portable storage interface, it's simply one, two, three, four, five. And in the center, we've dug down um, a bunch into the ground. Uh, it's basically one, uh, it looks like one, two, three blocks into the ground. So down in here, we're going to go ahead and place down a magma block. We're going to place down an encased fan aimed against it, a mechanical bearing, a radial chassis. Then we're going to slime one side, put down our linear chassis going one, two, three. We're going to slime the front, place down three harvesters. Then we're going to slime the back, and we're going to go ahead and place down two chests and a portable storage interface. Now, the one thing that we do have to do is simply place down a lever down there. Uh, I think the easiest way to do that is to simply dig in. So I've dug a hole into the side, and all I'm going to do is just take a lever on this magma block and flick it. And then up here, we can go ahead and just fill this dirt in just like this, and our machine should be up and running. So all we have to do is simply hoe the ground and place down all of our seeds to go ahead and fill this farm up. Our last step is going to be to power this entire machine. Now, we're going to start over by where we've made our bone meal farm right in the beginning. And from these cogwheels, we're simply going to go ahead and place down uh, two shafts off of this cogwheel, just like this. And then in this structure I've built, it's just a three by three uh, that I've dug slightly into the ground with one block on the left side as a barrier. And on this block, we're simply going to grab some water buckets uh, and just simply fill in the water just like this. So once we fill all of this in, we can then grab our water wheels and place them all down, uh, which as you can see, I've actually placed these in the wrong direction. So I'll show you how to fix these. Uh, by simply rotating them, you want them to be facing with the spokes facing towards the right. This will create the max amount of power. And once we've done that, you'll see that our drills are up and running. We have these crushing wheels up and running. We have these up and running, this millstone's up and running, and it goes all the way into the mixer and then stops because we're now going to power the opposite side um, off of a different power source because all of these crushing wheels are going to take up a ton of stress and power, and these mixers are going to need to be at a different speed, so it's easier to just have its own power source. So over here against this mechanical belt, I'm just going to go one, two, three out uh, and one up, and this is going to be where we put these water wheels now, I'm going to go ahead and take a rotational speed controller and place it here and rotate it so it's aiming this mechanical belt with, uh, with two shafts, just like this. And on top of this rotation speed controller, we can place a large cogwheel. And then inside of here, we're going to do the exact same process of our water buckets um, and placing our water down like so with our... Uh, water wheels just like 
this. So once we do this, it'll now power uh, this mechanical belt, but you can see it's going the wrong direction. So we're going to look at this rotation speed controller and turn this to negative 32. And once we do that, it'll turn it in the correct direction. And we've set it to negative 32, so it'll be able to spin these mixers at the correct speed. So to make them uh, spin correctly, we're just going to take an encased chain drive here, place it so one is aimed at this mechanical belt, one's aimed up, and then another one is aimed at this mechanical belt. And here we can just place down two shafts, place down a cogwheel, and that'll make this mixer up and running. On the other side, we're also going to do the exact same thing by doing an encased chain drive. If I can place them correctly, placing another one up and down, and then one here. And then here we're going to do the same thing of one shaft, two shafts, and a cogwheel. This will now start pulling our uh, both our white and our green dyes in here to start putting lime dye into this basin. And then we're going to go over to this area that's going to get a little bit more trickier. So we're going to place a shaft and in case chain drive aimed at this shaft and another one aimed towards here. And then we're going to do one cogwheel, two cogwheel, and a shaft. That'll now power this encased fan to start moving and blowing at this depot. Place a cogwheel on top of here to power this millstone. And then off of this millstone, we're going to place one cogwheel, take a vertical gearbox, place it here so it's aiming towards the side, take a normal gearbox and place it here, and that will now power this mechanical belt. Now, if you want to go ahead and set these filters for these two brass funnels, what I recommend doing is simply just removing one of these brass funnels, wait for the item that you want to go down here, turn to dough, and then set the filter. So theoretically, once we had our wheat flour placed onto this depot, we could wait, turn it to dough, set it as the filter here, and then for here, we'll set it as the wheat flour filter. Now, something you realize is that this is not powered, so we're just going to go ahead and place a gearbox to make this powered as well. There we go. We have this entire system set up. I just want to show that it's working so you can see that our wheat flour uh, is turning to wheat first, then going to wheat flour. It's now going to be turned into dough. Then it'll get processed into here with our lime dye, and then our lime dye will start getting outputted into slime balls and into this chest. And it might look like it's working kind of slow at the moment. You'll just need this wheat farm to speed up a little bit more. Once it starts getting fully grown, this will be producing plenty of wheat and plenty of dough for what we need. Same as these cactuses over time will start to grow a little bit faster. Uh, and then you will have plenty of slime balls. I mean, you can see already we have four, now five slime balls. So we're doing pretty good um, for having an automated system. Hey everyone, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, please subscribe. Uh, today, as I'm making this video, this is my third video in one day. Uh, I'm stacking up on videos because I'm starting a full-time internship and it's going to be really hard to make videos. So I've been grinding like crazy. So uh, all I ask is that you drop a like for all of the work that I've put in today uh, to YouTube. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys all in the next one.